I just created a video and uh, we get announcement of Game Week 32 being a double game week. Okay, well, let's go through this again. Um, but please don't forget to check my latest video on my team selection for Game Week 30. I uh, don't think anything has changed that much with this announcement. But anyways, please check that out. But I'm going to post this um, like today as fast as I can uh, for you guys to get the information. I think this is very important because it will maybe change our thoughts on maybe wildcarding in Game Week 31. Instead of that, maybe wildcarding in Game Week 32 could be the way to go. I don't know right now. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and always, always drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. Let's go through it. So as you can see, Game Week 30 fixtures, nothing has changed. Uh, if I move to Game Week 31, nothing has changed there as well. But for Game Week 32, if you saw on my previous video, it was quite empty. You know, the Chelsea versus Brighton game wasn't there. The Manchester City game, the Tottenham. So there was a lot of fixtures here were missing because nothing was announced yet. It wasn't confirmed, but now it is. And as you can see, it's all over the place. There's a game on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, that's interesting. And the big announcement is that Spurs will have two fixtures in game week 32. Well, by the looks of this, it looks like only Spurs has a double. So they have a home fixture against Southampton and an away fixture against Everton. You know, we're still waiting for Everton, uh, Aston Villa, Southampton, and I think they're playing against Crystal Palace. Um, that postponement fixtures, are, they're still yet to be confirmed. And now that this has been confirmed, I think we'll have to wait a little bit more longer for those fixtures to be confirmed down the line. So this is a very, very important because a lot of people are removing um, Tottenham players and maybe holding them for a little bit more longer could help out. Now, I got a, I got a plan. I, I need to go and I need to plan. So I thought I'll share this with you guys. And obviously, if we look at game week 33, these are the confirmed fixtures. As you can see, Manchester City is not there. Tottenham is not there. So, you know, we got if we're getting a lot of Tottenham players in game week 32, then you know, we'll be stuck with them in game week 33 and they blank in. That's going to cause a lot of issues. And if we have a couple of Manchester City players as well, then we need our bench to kind of help us out. Oh boy. Oh, you know what? I'm actually really excited. Um, the wild card that I have is going to definitely help. I think you can still navigate through this without using the wild card. But I think people with the wild card might have an advantage. I'm thinking right straight away, first thoughts, I'm thinking Lloris in goal and get a goalkeeper that I can rotate with in game week 30. So let me just have a look. So this is, yeah, this is 30, this is 33. What goalkeeper would I want? I mean, Mendy, right? Okay. Then maybe I can get Lloris here. Hmm. Or maybe, maybe one of the Tottenham defenders. Okay, Bell and Son. Okay, okay, this is this is interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. And this fixture here, um, Chelsea versus Brighton, and this is after the Champions League games as well. Yeah, it is. So this is after the Champions League games. So yeah, I think that's good. Then there might not be that many rotation. I think. Okay, I might need to think about. Wild card in, in game week 32, to be honest. And maybe like set my team up so it's okay for the blank as well. And good for game week 34. You know, if I still go for Chelsea assets and Kevin De Bruyne. Maybe I can keep my Everton players. Mm, actually, let me just have a quick look. Everton against Arsenal. Okay, that's not looking good. Anyways, uh, there's just so much to go through. Um, right now, 
I'm not going to make any kind of transfers. Uh, I might actually keep uh, Son and Kane and just go for a defensive move. Maybe just bring in Aspilicueta or something. Um, I do want to use a transfer. However, if I'm, I'm I need to go back and, and plan. I'm going to go and see if I could like create a team that might be good um, from 32 and onwards. So, okay, I, I'll, I'll do that. I thought I'd just announce this for you guys so you guys can see. So, Tottenham will have a double in game week 32. And if we are wildcarding, or if most of us are thinking to wildcard in game week 31, we got to keep uh, the Tottenham players. Then I guess if I do wildcard in game week 31, I keep um, Kane and Lloris. I think that'd be okay. I think Game Week 31 still is a good option. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just talking now. I can I can go for ages, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to look at uh, Live FPL and use the planner there and see if I can like create a team that I really like. Uh, I really want to create a team good for every single Game Week or at least um, up to Game Week um, 34. And without taking any hits, that is the plan. Anyways, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was my like first thoughts um, and first ideas of what I'm thinking. And you know what? I love this kind of stuff. And I cannot wait to kind of navigate through and try and find in my own way. I'm not going to look at Twitter. I'm not going to look at any other YouTube videos or nothing. I'm just going to just, I'm going to just do this right now. Look at that right now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Please, please, please watch my team selection video. Um, it's important. Um, you know, I talk about uh, what I'm thinking to do. And obviously, it's, trying to, it's kind of changed a little bit, but not as much. I just need to adapt a little bit um, now moving forward. But anyways, guys. Oh, man. Oh. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.